Hello everyone, I hope you're well out there and thank you for tuning in to our Pick the Chat series. My name is Wilson and I'll be your host for today's Pick the Chat. If this is your first time listening to us, Pick the Chat is a series of chats with leaders and entrepreneurs who share their knowledge and experience in using Pick the Chat. Today, I'm delighted to be joined by Jesse Stringer, a research analyst with Alaska Department of Corrections. Jesse has been using Pick the Chat since 2021 and it's my privilege to be speaking with Jesse today. Hello Jesse and welcome to our Pick the Chat. How are you doing? Hi, I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Yeah, firstly, thank you for making time for coming on this picture chat. And I'm excited to be hearing your story. And before we begin, I'm sure our listeners would also love to know you better. So can you introduce yourself further and let us know how you got started in your professional career and what led to your current role? Definitely. So as you mentioned, my name is Jesse and I live in Juneau, Alaska, which is in the southeast portion of Alaska. It's a, a temperate rainforest and I grew up here. I have a background in education as a teacher and I also have a background in accounting. So I've done some accounting work with uh, the state of Alaska. And after doing a bit of accounting, I was asked to move into the research department for the Department of Corrections, and I've really enjoyed it. I feel like I found my spot as an analyst. So, yeah. That's an awesome journey from an educator to also becoming now a researcher. So thank you for giving us kind of insight into your journey. Now let's get our picture chat started, and I'm curious to know this first. How did you discover picture chat? I discovered PictoChart because I was a new analyst and I was new to the whole study, the whole field in general. I didn't really know much about how to present data or what the best way to present data was. So I started doing research on YouTube. I like to watch videos to learn about what the best technology is or what I should be doing. And PictoChart was recommended. Uh, quite a bit on YouTube. So I checked it out and I started using it. As I practiced with it and used the free trial version, I found that it, it was easy to use. The interface seemed pretty great and I really enjoyed it. I liked the icons. They just weren't too cheesy. Uh, sometimes with some software, the icons can be a little bit cheesy. But um, yeah, I basically found it through recommendations on the internet. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm so glad that PictoChart has been helpful for you as well, and also with the icons. So you are a research analyst yourself. Can you let us know why do you think visual communication is so important for your role? Definitely. So as a research analyst, I handle large amounts of data. Oftentimes, we can be dealing with millions of data points, and we try to figure out if certain sets of data correlate with other sets of data. That can be done with tables and numbers and spreadsheets, but usually the reader doesn't want to go through and analyze the spreadsheets and the tables. That's my job as an analyst. And so being able to use PictoChart and create various graphs or infographics that the reader can use to understand what we've analyzed is really useful. The example I like to use is if we were counting all of the people in any hometown, wherever a person lives, if you were counting the people under eye color, so you wanted to find out how many people in my town have blue eyes and how many people in my town have green eyes and how many people in my town have brown eyes, we could count everybody, we could put all those numbers together, and depending on what town you're in, that could be pages and pages and pages of numbers. And we could present that to the reader, and they could figure it out and look through that to figure out which eye color was the most popular in their town. Or we could give them a good graphic, and they wouldn't have to weed through all of that. And with the right graphic, they can know in a matter of seconds which eye color is the most popular in their town or whatever piece of information you're trying to display. If it's done with a good graphic, the reader can figure it out pretty quick. Yeah, I think that's a great example that you mentioned because I think for researchers, like you all love getting into the nitty gritty and the details of the data, analyzing it, coming up with a certain trend or pattern. Uh, but for mm -hmm. lay people like myself, we might not be able to understand that. 
So I appreciate how you mentioning giving us an example because eventually we are all visual learners. And when we see a graphic, we tend to get the information much faster than reading through uh, research and many pages of reports. Is that correct? You've been using PictoChart since 2021. Uh, can you share a bit on how visual communication or PictoChart has benefited your work with the state of Alaska? Well, as I mentioned earlier, I was a entry-level research analyst uh, trying to figure out how to best present the information that I was finding. I came across PictoChart and found that I was able to create some infographics pretty quickly and in a way that I enjoyed creating it and that I felt like they looked good. Uh, I felt proud of my work and I was able to pass that on to my supervisor and uh, ask him if that was something that we might want to use. And they really liked it. And so they encouraged me to keep doing that. Although I started out with trying to present one piece of information, because of the way I was able to present so clearly with PictoChart, they asked me to create the annual report for the whole Department of Corrections which was just a real big honor and a privilege. I really, really like my work and I like the people that I work with. I feel like we're all trying to do something great for society. And uh, to be given that responsibility is just phenomenal. I work with research analysts that have been doing this for five years or 20 years and for them to feel like I had the tools to convey the information and share the data that they worked so hard to find and pull out. It was just, I was just beside myself. Yeah, it's helped me quite a bit. Well, kudos to you. I'm so happy and also encouraged to hear your story and how it has benefited your career as well. And to be able to see PictoChart being a tool that actually helps to elevate your work and also not only in your career, but also to get the research out there, especially with the annual report. So I'm glad that it's also making a difference, not only within your department, but also for the state itself. And one more thing to mention is that this annual report that I give, it goes to my community members. It goes to people that live in my town, that live in my state. It goes to legislators and lawmakers that make decisions. So I'm able to display the information so that the readers can see it quickly, understand it quickly, analyze it themselves in a reasonable manner, and then make educated decisions on what they think is best for society. So to me, that's really a lot more valuable than just what it's done for my own career. I feel like it's helping my community. Yeah, I think that's the rewarding part of our career as well, and the things that we do making an impact in the community and society out there. Kudos and great job to you. Well, let's talk a bit about the visuals that you've created with PictoChart. If you could narrow it down out of all the visuals that you have created, what was one that you're most proud of? So yeah, the visual that I'm most proud of would be a report called the Offender Profile. The graphics within that, I feel good about most all of them. I feel like PictoChart gave me the ability to use so many different types of graphs and different types of icons that I don't feel like I had to repeat myself. I mean, the report's a 50-page report, and I don't feel like it was redundant. If anything, it was exciting as each page is turned. So yeah, the annual report would be the thing that I'm most proud of. That's great to hear. And is there a way for also our listeners to be able to view the report publicly? Yeah, definitely. So if you go to the State of Alaska website, so that would be alaska.gov, and navigate to the Department of Corrections and then research, you will find the 2021 offender profile there. That's awesome. Well, we'll be sure to also link that if that's okay in the show yeah. notes so that our listeners and our users can actually go there to see the report itself and perhaps find inspiration uh, when they're coming to also creating their own annual report. Yeah. Now, based on your experience of using PictoChart so far, and if you could offer three most important visual communication tips for researchers out there, what would that be? I thought quite a bit about this. What would my three tips be? And I think my first tip for someone that is working on visualizing data is to find 
a statistician hero and find someone to look up to. And that could be a boss. It could be a coworker. You could look on PictoChart and find some inspiration there. I like how that's readily available. For me, it's a lady named Florence Nightingale. Really look up to her. And that helps me having a hero that's a statistician and seeing what they did in the world with data and data visualization and conveying their point with good graphics, uh, it makes me want to do the same thing. We really can make the world a better place with good graphics. So that was my first tip. And then my second tip is to use the help videos on PictoChart are really valuable and help me with things like color schemes and making sure that my colors didn't clash. I really like those. The third tip that I would give is to learn from a lady named Cole Nussbaumer Naflick. She is a statistician that is really good with data visualization. And she has a lot of good tips about how to make sure that the product that we create is not overcrowded with too much that would distract the reader. I think those are some really great tips for researchers out there to also consider when it comes to visual communication. Now, finally, to wrap up this picture chat, can you let us know what is your favorite feature about picture chat? Yeah, my favorite feature is definitely the charts tool. I especially like the icons option. The one that gives you the option to, you could use triangles, you could use circles, you could use smiley faces if you want to show different proportions. For me, I like to use, if I'm presenting data on males, I'll use the little male icon. If I'm presenting data on females, I'll use the little female icon. That could go for whatever you're reporting. If you're doing a report on trees, you could pick a little tree and use that. And it's really helpful when people are looking at a shape of the actual thing they're trying to analyze. Yeah, I think that's a great feature and also a hidden one that not a lot of people might be aware of. Instead of just using the basic icons to represent your data, you could actually customize it according to your preferred icons. And like what Jesse said, it actually helps to communicate the information and message much clearer. So yeah, thank you for bringing that to our attention as well. And it was truly a pleasure to be speaking with you, Jesse. Thank you for sharing your inspiring story with us in this picture chat. And we are so grateful to have you advocating for visual communication and using PictoChart as one of the tools to make that happen. So if you're listening to this and you're enjoying the PictoChat episode, feel free to check out the rest of our episodes where you can hear more inspiring stories from leaders and entrepreneurs in different industries. That's the end of our PictoChat today and goodbye.